Hey there guys, how is it going? So I just wanted to show you guys two quick features that will help you out here using Task Magic. One of them is allowing errors and the other one is advanced settings. Okay, I am going to be showing you how the allowing errors would be useful in a pop-up situation or a capture situation perhaps. All right, so I am going to use Instagram in this case. This is applicable for any platform. I'm going to log in. And as you can see, we have a pop-up here. It doesn't matter what page you're navigating. If there's a pop-up, just do as you would usually do in the browser, okay? Just turn on, turn off, whatever you wanna do, it doesn't matter. Uh, and let's say that's all I want to do for now because I just wanna show you how we can allow errors on these. So as you can see, there's a lot of steps, but sometimes some of these steps might cause uh, the automation to fail. And these aren't as important as the rest of the steps that we usually do in our automations, all right? So let's say I want this turn on pop-up to be available when it does show up, but I don't want it to interfere with the steps of my automation. So what I do is that I click on the three dots and I click allow error on any steps you guys want. I would recommend on all of the steps that don't have like, that aren't recurring steps. Sometimes it might ask you to log in, sometimes it won't. Sometimes it's gonna show up a pop-up, sometimes it won't. So on those types of steps, I would highly recommend to click allow errors on every single one of them, all right? And that is literally all you have to do to avoid a lot of these automations to fail. Just allow errors. And the next one I am going to show you, it is the advanced settings. This one is super useful. If, you're, if you are in a different country or your browser is in a different language, sometimes these divs do not uh, respect the language. They are in English or sometimes they're in Spanish. So um, let's go ahead and check for plumbing. Okay, and as you could see here, it says Mas Empresas. Sometimes these divs do not respect the language it's in. It, this is in Spanish, sometimes it's in English, the elements that we have to select. So I'm going to show you how you could update all of these clicks that you guys do in order for them to function correctly and how you guys expect it to work, okay? So let's go ahead and scrape list these businesses just because. And as you can see here in the bottom, it says Siguiente. Sometimes this is going to fail as well because the elements it is looking for, it is not siguiente, it's next because that is how it's placed in the code. So how are we going to select these two elements specifically by name? We are going to click the three dots, advanced settings and enable find by text. So here we would write the text. In this case, it is siguiente and here it would be mas empresas. It, if you guys have special characters that you don't have in your keyboard, you could go ahead and always copy and paste with command control C and command control V. As you could see here, it, perfect, it perfectly works. So that is literally all you guys have to do if, you, if you're having a lot of steps that are failing. If you have steps that are causing you errors or perhaps when you're clicking next, it is not functioning correctly, I would highly recommend you guys allowing errors. If it's a step that needs to be precise and you cannot allow errors on them, I would recommend you going to advanced step and then here enable find by text and write down the text that you are actually looking for, okay? So that will be all for this video. It is super short, super simple, but it's very, very powerful and effective. If you guys are having failing steps, I cannot stress enough how important it is to allow errors and if that step should not be failing at all, and it is failing, I would recommend you allowing advanced settings and then enable find by text. Thank you so much. Have a great day.